Hey guys, so I'm here tonight with a super exciting brand new vendor. I'm sure you guys know what I'm gonna say. I got my vintage cheek, yay! So Kirby, we all know her as Vintage Chic 1927 or something. That's her YouTube name. She's been doing reviews forever. She has a ton of followers. You know, I'm just really not surprised that she um, decided to open a company because, you know, she knows a lot about wax. So this is exciting. So I have not, I, all I have done with this is opened it. Like, so this is a total unboxing. Um, so this is going to be exciting. Okay, so the first thing that I see when I open it, let me show you. You got it. And, oh, you guys can't see the lights too bad. Okay, well the first thing I see is a card that is Kirby. A little thing, it ripped when I was opening it. And then she included a little note on a little doily, which is so perfect because that's on her logo or doilies and then you know the breakdown which is nice you know, always having the receipt so you can actually know exactly what you're getting and she taxes pretty well you know lots of paper in here everything is pretty snug and, so, and all I ordered were scent shots and so I just kind of wanted to make it easy I wanted to small order smaller I didn't want to like load up on them because I wasn't you know she's as much as I love her she is new and I wanted to make sure that I liked her stuff you know um I have two of these little packages in here so I'm assuming yeah let me say I'm assuming so this bag you can see it's all packed in the super uber cute little bag and the little uh, what is that called raffia ribbon or something like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and just unpack this other one too. So cute. So, so cute. Very vintage. I like the theme. I'm sure you guys aren't surprised. I like themed wax. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to dig in. All right, let's do this. Sorry for the crinkling. Okay, and so the first thing I see are two loose little roses so she sent me little samples um pins curls and finger waves you can see let me show you if you can see there's the pour date and the name and this is how let me see what this says i think i ordered this i ordered this when you like perfect i have the breakdown in front of me I did. This is pink sugar for sure. There's no descriptions on here, but there's never descriptions on breakdown, but I get a lot of pink sugar. What else is that? Frosty? No. I think it's marshmallow. Which is good because pink sh sugar is such an overpowering scent that normally you can't really pick up on anything, especially a light scent like marshmallow. So that's really good that you can do that. So that's a really great sample. And this one is Tara Will Never Go Hungry Again. One of my all-time favorite movies. I'm super stoked that she had some lots of Gone with the Wind themes. Okay, immediately I pick up on Wildberry. That's all I'm really getting in this. I know that she wouldn't have this just straight, but... Dang, I can't get anything else from that. Oh, I get zucchini now. Not a lot of it, though. It's pretty light on the zucchini. Really great wild berry scent. Um, they still need to cure. What did she say? Two weeks after the pour day? Oh, well, I actually know these are ready to go. So maybe I'll melt those tomorrow to check it out. Okay, so the next one I'm going... Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a sh surprise, not bad. You know, it just was not what I was expecting. So the scent shots are not full scent shots. You know, you order the scent shots and from the top of it, and this is immediately what I was thinking, they kind of look like the same top as Beezy's scent shots. 
And so um, I was expecting like a BZ two ounce cup. This is not a two ounce cup. This is a one and a half ounce scent shot. And so that's a little bit of a shocker. I wasn't expecting that, which is, you know, fine. Um, and this one is Gumshoe Detective. Okay, so I remember this one. This one is definitely bubblegum because I love bubblegum. Oh, it's so good. This is like bazooka. And like she puts little sprinkles and shimmer. And her little sprinkles on here are like balls. It's not like a normal sprinkle, so that's kind of cute too. Let me see how easy these come out. They just kind of fell right out, so that's kind of good too. Sometimes, it, you know, scent shots, it's hard to get things out of them, so that's kind of sweet that it just kind of fell out. Okay, 1927. Sweet. Oh, I get the milk. I get pink sugar. That's all I'm getting right now is pink sugar and that sweet milk, which is really nice really nice soothing. Maybe I'll put this in my warmer. Wait, when was this? Oh, so I can put this in tonight. Maybe I'll melt this tonight. Yay! Okay, so that's really nice. Uh, Holly Golightly. Oh, Fruit Loops. And Lime. I bet that's 7-Up. That might be too citrusy for me because there's a lot of citrus in the Fruit Loops. Anyways, and so this might be a good scent to put on when um, you're like cleaning. It kind of reminds me of just how strong and almost acidy the um, citrus is because, you know, there's a lot of citrus in Fruit Loops and then 7-Up, uh, obviously, there's a lot of lemon lime in that. And so it's just kind of, you know, I'm not really getting any of the creaminess from the pound cake. Um, I feel pretty. I don't remember ordering this, so. Watermelon. Whoo, watermelon. What else is that? strawberry and something else maybe pink sugar wow I ordered a lot of pink sugar I think just because it was like so crazy that I was just honestly trying to grab whatever I could um I don't think I normally would have ordered this many um pink blends but I ordered a lot of them uh the next one is happy birthday Mr. President it's cute. Birthday cake. Birthday cake is such a light scent anyway, so that's kind of... Pink sugar again, man. Dang, I wish I would have ordered more stuff. And I think strawberry again. Too many. Too many, too many. I'm going to have to order again, Kirby. I order too many similar scents. Lots of pink sugar, lots of strawberry. The last one in this bag is Jackie O. Oh, I love Jackie O. Oh, this is Vanilla Bean Noel. I love Vanilla Bean Noel. And marshmallow and birthday cake. Yep. Mm, I should have ordered a ton of those. That's really good. This is what I love to go to sleep to. I love Vanilla Bean Noel. And... I'm not even kidding. I need to order more of that. It was really nice. Sorry I'm kind of melancholy, guys. I'm kind of tired right now. My kids are sick. They're going crazy. Doesn't mean I don't like my order. I'm loving my order. I wish I would have paid attention to what I was buying, though, so I didn't order so much pink. <laughs> not that I'm complaining. I love pink. I just wanted to get a better feel of all of her sick combos. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, June Cleaver. This is kind of light. I 
I'm getting just a little bit of cinnamon, but honestly, this is, I'm not really getting that much from this one, unfortunately. So hopefully, this was poured on December 5th. It's been over a month. Hopefully when I put it in there, you know, it will um, start growing. You know, it's so hard to judge. Like you should never really judge a vendor by their cold throw because it's just not the same. It's not the same because, you know, it depends on the ratio. If there's more paraffin than soy, then cold throw is going to be like zero. Like you're not going to be able to smell anything. And so it's really about the warm reviews and um, how it actually performs, you know. And Ooh, yum. Ooh, that is minty. It's super mint, but it's not like a in your face, like spearmint kind of mint. It's creamy. I don't think I have smelled a creamy thing like that. I wonder if there's vanilla bean oil in there. Not that I'm picking up on it at all because of the mint. It's super strong, but yeah, it's still super creamy. So I wouldn't put it past it if there was some vanilla bean oil. Lucy and Ethel. for sure that is damn strong that is really strong <laughs> it's really good too creamy pistachio I'm not really picking up anything else in there besides pistachio but that's such a strong dominant scent anyways um over the rainbow oh my gosh I oh cute she put little stars on this let me show you Oh, that's really cute. Cotton candy, big time. I cannot place that other scent. I have no idea what that is. It smells kind of citrusy, like orange maybe, but creamy. And cotton candy, so it's super sweet. It's pretty dang good. Pin curls and finger waves. It's the same as my sample, which is the pink marshmallow, which is yummy. Yeah, two more. And I'm done. I got my little baby order. My favorite things strawberry for sure. A bakery note. Hmm, Amish. Picking up the um definitely a strawberry. It's not like a candy strawberry though. And uh bread. Amish bread. That's good. Next one is Tara will never go hungry again. It's the same as my sample. Wildberry for sure. And zucchini. That's really good too. So, you know, I mean, I, honestly, overall, I'm pretty pleased with my entire order. You know, some of the scents were um, pretty light. You know, and I ordered too many darn pink scents like I wish I would have gotten the um frankly my dear which was the eucalyptus I wish I would have gotten that one I wish I would have gotten the Mary Poppins one a uh, spoonful of sugar I wish I would have gotten there's so many she had so many scents on there and it was just kind of going crazy um there was the Betty Crocker one. I wish I would have gotten that one. So I'm like gonna already start making my wish list again in her <laughs> site, so they know exactly what. Because I've got these, so now I want to try all of the rest of them. You know, I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm gonna start melting these because, you know, majority a lot of these were poured a while ago, and so I can, you know, they're definitely cured. So this is all pretty exciting for me. Yay! I think I'm gonna put this uh, pin curls, this little, this little cutie. Let me pull it out. Did I even pull it out for you to show you? I didn't. 
Dang it. I want to show you how cute her little roses are. I don't know where she got this mold from, but I'm digging it. Look how cute that is. Can you see it? Great job, Kirby. This is really, really great. I'm really excited for you. I'm really excited about this whole thing. I know how stressful and crazy it is opening shop and I think that you just nailed it. I think that your opening went flawless. I think that you didn't have any problems on your website. I feel like, um, you know, nothing was really pulled out of my cart. I was just trying to hurry up so that nothing would get pulled out of my cart because, you know, some websites do that. Some websites don't. I don't know if yours did that or not, but you know, you just kind of never know, especially when it's like mad rush, like going crazy. Like everyone is like, ah, I got to get my order in. Oh my God. <laughs> she knows. I just wanted to get what I could and just kind of get out of there <laughs> before, you know, if anything happened or, you know, you know, people are going to close their websites or things like that. I don't know, you know, whatever. But, you know, congratulations, babe. I'm super happy. I'll be ordering again. You know, I'm going to um, do a warm review on these. I'm going to start doing those because, like I said, it's important for you guys to hear the warm reviews and not just the cold reviews. I mean, it's fun seeing everyone's hauls and everything like that, but you just really can't tell how a wax is going to perform until it is actually in your dish, warming up, making your house smell amazing. So, all right. Well, thanks so much, guys. Bye.